just like I said earlier, it's the same process, the same techniques that you're using for all the other categories. You have to really get the kids started a little bit earlier, I guess, in the performance area because they have all of that to learn and then their own little personal issues trying to memorize things. Memorizing, the best thing to do is the favorite six words, practice, 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 and more practice. Um, that helps me. When I'm on stage, I drives my wife crazy <laughs> just because I'm always saying it no matter what, time, what I'm doing. Um, and, and along with that practices, practice, you have to also provide opportunities for the, for the students to perform this in front of people they don't know. Their class, they see them every day. If you can do a mini assembly where you put a bunch of the different performances together in like a showcase type of thing before they get to the judging process, that's always helpful. Um, if you want to bring in another class from it within the school, use them as well as your critics. One of the things that you have to keep in mind is you as the guide for the kids, you have to keep them pointed in the right direction. You have to be patient. You have to spark them on, but more or less be like a cheerleader for them, more so because now they're up there with their raw self up there trying to portray this character that they've just read about. That's where your personal or your uh, diaries come in, using the archives, talking to people that actually live through, through uh, the different eras. There's a group that, there's a, uh, a young man in a program that was doing something on the Bushmasters. He actually talked to one of the Bushmasters to get his performance or his piece together. Um, What else do you want to know about script writing, Julie? I mean, it, it, it's... Well, okay. Uh, I, I, I like to know about props, too. You know, uh, the, the props need to be portable. The, the, yeah, that's an important thing about the actual competition. Your props, your costumes, and your set. They all need to be portable. They need to be self-contained. They need to be all controlled by the, 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 uh, the actors in the performance. Um, I use the KISS method, keep it simple, stupid. I like that. Um, get as accurately close as possible. A lot of times you will not be able to find any reproductions of these particular artifacts, but get as close as you can. Um, same thing with your costumes. If you're doing a one person reenactment or a one person type of narrative, white shirt, black pants. That, I mean, it's that simple. Because you, these judges are sitting there in front of you, they're your captive audience. They're ready to take that trip or that journey with you back in time. They're right there with you. They're wanting you to do the best. So relax a little bit. It's, it's easier said than done. I'm telling people to relax when performing a bunch, a bunch of strangers who are judging them. Practice. I mean, just leave it out of their minds, but they've got to do a lot of the practicing. Um, a lot of the problems I see as a judge in scripts, and even though I don't see the script, is that the kids try to put too much information in that 10 minute frame. You still have to do your introduction, you have to, or your thesis statement, introduction, your body, conclusion. Uh, pick one or two items that are key points that they want to pick up on. And then any of that other important stuff can be in that process paper, uh, along with the bibliography. Does that answer what you were going for? Yeah, can I be specific? Um, let, let me be specific. Uh, so I'm not good at this. And um, I, uh, I have two girls, and they want to do a performance this year, and they've tentatively titled their uh, performance Dancing Across the Color Line. And they are using the integration of Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas, on the day of the first confrontation. They're thinking about a backdrop of Central High School, and they're thinking about a bench as possible props. We have clothing for the, and they're diligently now working on the script. I'm working with a dance instructor from ASU to help them learn how to do movement that, that might be interpretive of message as well as message. 
Um, do you have any thoughts on that? Or if you do, maybe I'll email you later or? Yeah, I mean, we can talk about that now as we give them, uh, the rest of the folks a, an example. Um, backdrop. Doesn't have to be a big old backdrop. Could be just a same, simple screen with a projection of central high. Okay. Could be that simple. Could be just a sheet. Could be nothing. It comes with the introduction or, or the talk about the, the story itself. Uh, whatever the title is, the students' names. As soon as they start anything else, they can set that up, honestly, as say a teacher saying, all right, to the classroom, all right, today we're gonna to be starting to get in some students that are of a different color coming to the school. It could be from the teacher's perspective of what's going on with the dancing across the color line. It could be the, the perspective of the student, a black student walking into the school for the first day. Depends on that perspective that they want to take on their story. Well, they had had, they had, had I have one black uh, girl and one white girl, and they were going to try to take the perspectives of their respective communities on what they brought to the table on that day. Okay. Now, we can t change that up a little bit. Okay. Just, just as a thought. All right. Black girl, white girl. Okay. They're sitting in that classroom, chairs right next to each other, or one behind the other one that first day of class. Something clicks and they and say maybe the white girl's family doesn't feel the same way as everybody else felt in Central High. Maybe these two girls start off as friends on that first day and how they dance through this whole color issue at the high school. Okay. You see what I mean? It depends on the direction they want to take with mess and then that could be your debate. That could be your diplomacy as they try to get their own friends to get together. Okay. Not be so antagonistic towards the other race. Okay. Um, could be dealing with having one girl go to the other girl's family. Still tying in with dancing across that color line at Central High School. I'm just, <laughs> just stuff, stuff yeah. kicking in based on what you were talking about. Now, you know, we pulled up uh, Fabus's, um speech as he was giving it on TV because obviously it was a political ploy on his part for re-election. But we pulled up parts of that and we were thinking maybe someplace along the line we could get that in there as kind of an introduction. I don't know. As even part of that, you can start out with the radio mm -hmm. as a radio announcement. Mm -hmm. Again, this is something that's recorded that can be used in the performances mm -hmm. as part of the props, as part of the storyline itself. That could be your introduction to your thesis. Your story, it's coming straight from uh, who, who was Fort Farbus's yeah. comments. I mean, his words right there in the performance itself. Yeah, see, up until, up until he gave this speech, um, he didn't think he was going to have an election problem. He thought he would be easily elected in Arkansas, but the guy who was going to stand against him was highly racist. And it looked like Fabus was going to lose the election, so he used this incident in order to get himself reelected. So when they start thinking about it, it doesn't all have to be all written out for their script for them to memorize it. It doesn't have to be a part of the, the, the papers that they turn into the judges, but that could be something that's in the script that punches the few key points that they want to address covering the topic. Okay. Does that help? Yes, it does because they're struggling with perspective. I'm struggling with perspective, so. <laughs> well, uh, it just depends on which angle they want to take yeah. from, but okay. it, it's. But this is something they had not thought of. Right, and a lot of it is basically just research, research, research. Mm -hmm. That's why I say it takes more out of a kid in this particular category mm -hmm. because of the depth of the research they have to do because when they get up to portray it, Whatever they don't put in their process paper, it may be something that sticks in their head. It could be something that even comes out during the interview process. A lot of the judges from the last few that I've judged, the kids have done something that happened in my lifetime that I remember hearing about growing up, that I actually watched and, and saw and was a part of, 
that sparks more questions on that particular topic that the kids may not be aware of. And it's from the, the, uh, the, the knowledge base.